What's going on guys? Black Scout Survival and today I'm in the uh, White Mountains and I've been down here for about four days um, doing some work and been doing some uh, solo camping. Uh, it's been pretty cold so I've had to use some of my colder weather gear. You can see I got my buffalo jacket on and it's been outstanding. I've only, other than that I've only had on a wool base layer, a minus 33 and minus 33 bottoms um, and stocking cap. Uh, and buffalo mittens. I've been using uh, my hammock, a war bonnet, with a underquilt, and I tell you, the underquilt is definitely uh, mandatory. You've got to have that uh, for how how cold it got. It's been down at about 27 degrees at nights, and some of the nights I was unable to have a fire for stealth reasons. I'm doing some work for uh, got some a consulting gig I'm doing, so uh, survival consulting, safety and rescue consultant. So. I've been having to do some uh, stealth stuff too, so that you know I could be seen. So I, I wasn't able to use the fire some nights. So you know I had to really depend on my gear to do the job. I'm going to talk about some of my uh, equipment that I've taken out here with me. I don't have my main pack um, because I'm doing some scouting today. And what I'm using for my main pack is a uh, Ultralight Adventures CDT, which is a ultralight pack. And it's a 50 liter, so I've got all my cold weather gear, my hammock, my uh, sleeping bag, all that kind of stuff. I'll kind of just tell you that and I'll show you some other things. Um, got a war bonnet blackbird is what I'm using with the Yeti under quilt made by Warbonnet as well. I've got an Eno tarp. I have a, a Teton Outdoors minus 20 sleeping bag, mummy style bag, and honestly uh, that was pretty pretty decent. Um, it, it felt like with the wind a little bit colder than uh, that so I, I was definitely on the, on the verge of, of being cold especially without being able to have a fire some nights uh, for stealth reasons. Um, but Anyhow, let me think of what else I had in, in that pack. Um, just basic stuff, you know, just basic camping gear. But also, uh, right now, it's uh, right close to uh, the bears start hibernating. So they're, the black bears here, and they can range from anywhere from 200 to 1,000 pounds. So they are super aggressive uh, feeding right now, eating about 20,000 calories a day. And so, you know, you can't have any food with you. You have to put it in a bear bag or bear box. And I'm going to have a bear bag video coming up so you can... Uh, see how to do that but anyhow I'm also testing some new knives I got a new survive knife GSO 5.1 that we've really been uh, putting through some work up here but I also carried my old one too and I'll uh, take a look at that but for my scouting pack I'm using uh, the triple lock design I'm using the triple lock design uh, fast pack EDC um, the new version and I'm telling you I love it but I've got my uh, saw, been doing a lot of work with that. My uh, Silky Gone Boy, I've been using uh, a lot of bank line for stuff I've been having to build uh, for the work I'm doing, um, like tripods and stuff like that. And like I said, this is just my scouting gear. So this is my full long gear. Um, got some Oakley shades. I've got, this is my old GSO 5.1 that I've been running and it's super nasty from the work but still shaping sharp. And like I said, my other 5.1's in my bag, my that base camp, I'm using that ferro rod there inside this red bag I just have some 
Wolfinger's list of gloves, some paracord, uh, my Fanex PD32. You really need a light, strong light for uh, this type of environment. Some fat wood and some uh, Pathfinder Surefires and an extra fair CM rod. And I've got my Petzl Tatika headlamp, which come in super handy as well. So yeah guys, uh, there's my buffalo mittens and it's basically made out of the same material as the jacket. Uh, I've got a field trauma kit and I've got a little bit more medical gear for the work I'm doing um, up here. So but that's just something I keep in my scout pack. I've been using my heavy cover canteen kit. It's been phenomenal. And also in here, I just have uh, my mil spec monkey pouch. I've got like a journal, a lighter. Exotac covered lighter, um, a multi tool, and just some other little stuff to have around camp. But that's pretty much what I've been carrying in my scouting pack. I've also got some more bottles of water in there. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as my scouting pack. And obviously, you've seen the uh, emergency space blanket, all weather blanket. Uh, we've been using that um, to reflect that body heat back onto you you know to keep keep uh, you warm in those. so even though I brought tinder uh, mostly been using birch bark um, it's everywhere up here so been using that to start most all the fires when I was allowed to or helping the other folks start a fire so um, that's been a huge asset and resource up here a lot of this wood is wet so I've been just getting these birch logs like this lighting them on fire and uh has been doing quite well up here.